we are going to talk about lesson 42. Um, we're going to be writing equations to lines that are perpendicular to a given graph. Um, now the textbook tells you to write these equations in standard form and standard form is something that you're never going to use from what I can tell. Um, I never used it in college. I talked to some higher level teachers and you're going to get it again later. So we're going to focus on point slope form. So in your homework, if it tells you to write something in standard form, you're going to write it in point slope form for this lesson and you'll see as we work some examples. A couple of things you have to remember. We talked about perpendicular and parallel slopes not terribly long ago. However, it may have been before Christmas. I don't remember. So parallel lines, their slope matches. Perpendicular lines, their slopes are connected in that it is the negative reciprocal. So here's what you have to do. Your M is the flipped negative. So if I have a line and my slope is two thirds of the original line, the perpendicular slope, so I'm just going to say MP, the perpendicular slope is negative three over two. If I have a slope that is negative one half, the perpendicular slope is going to be positive because a negative negative is a positive two over one. So just remember, flip it and change the sign. Your point slope formula is y minus y1. I don't know what that is. Hold on, let me. Equals m x minus x1, which is what we used last week. Your homework or your book work tells you to put it in standard form. Don't do that. Put it in point slope form, okay? Your questions are going to say, write the equation in, and it's going to say standard form, but you're going to write it in point slope form. So write the equation in point slope form of the lines perpendicular to the given line at each point shown on the graph. Now, every problem that you're going to be given has two points given. At those points is <clears throat> technically a line that's going to go here and it's going to go here and those two lines, well it should cross at the dot, are going to be perpendicular to the given line. Those two lines are what we're finding the equations for. So you have two steps. Your first step is to find your m. Now remember because they are perpendicular it's going to be the negative reciprocal or the negative flipped fraction. Now your textbook tells you to use the equation m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, but the reality is we can <clears throat> use our triangle trick from last lesson and just count how many spaces. So we rise 1, 2, we run 1, and we are going down, so it is negative rise over run. So it's negative two over one, but the perpendicular slope or the negative flipped, negative and negative, you get a positive. And then if I flip it, I get one over two. So this is the slope for the lines that are perpendicular to the given line. <clears throat> Your second step is, remember, y minus y1 equals m uh, x, whoo, Lordy have mercy, hold on x minus x1 and we need to find the line the equation that goes through each point so we're going to use let me clear this up we are going to use this point which is 0 3 and we're going to use this point 1 1 and we're going to find the equation of both lines so remember x y and we already know our slope, so we genuinely just have to plug those values in. Y stays as Y. Y1 is 3. We found our M is going to be 1 half. X stays as X. X1. There's our first equation. 
Now let's do the same thing for our second point, y minus one. It's perpendicular, so it's still that same slope, x minus one. Oh goodness, hold on. X minus one. And technically, those two answers are your answer. You have just found in point slope form the equation of this perpendicular line and this per well, I should cross at that point and that perpendicular line. Let's look at this one. So again, first step is to find your M. And to do that, we're gonna make our triangle. This is gonna be a big one. There's my triangle. And I'm gonna count my rise over run. So I'm gonna run one, two, three, four. I'm gonna run, did I say run? I meant rise. I'm gonna rise four, I'm gonna run one, two, three, and I'm going up, so it's positive. So the slope of the given line is four over three. The one that is perpendicular to that is going to be the, f is going to be the flipped negative. So my slope is negative three over four. All right, now we need to talk about the two points. This point is x, y, 3, 2. This point is x, y, negative 1, negative 1. So we found our slope, and now we're going to go back to our point. Oops. We're going to go back to our point slope form. My kids are using the blower outside. Sorry about that. You can probably hear them. And we're just going to plug this in. Remember x1, y1 x1, y1. So y equals, let's do this one first. Why do I keep putting y equals? y minus 3 equals m, which we already found to be negative 3 fourths, x minus 2. The second one, y Minus negative 1 is going to give me plus because minus a negative is a plus. Minus negative 1 becomes a plus. And there's my answer. Let's do one more. Remember, <clears throat> what we're doing is we're finding the lines that are perpendicular through these points, okay? So, step one is to find our slope. So I'm gonna draw our triangle. There's my triangle. And my slope, I'm going to rise one, two. I'm going to run one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going from left to right, I'm going down, so it's negative. Now, because it's perpendicular, I am going to flip it and change the sign. So my m is positive 5 over 2. So step 1 is going to be to find your slope. Step 2 is going to be to plug them in. So here's my first point, x, y, and x, <clears throat> y x1, y1, x1, y1, and now I just plug those values in. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So my first, let's do this one first, <clears throat> y minus 1 equals, remember we already found our slope, x minus negative 3 minus a negative becomes a positive. Now let's do this one, y minus 2 equals five over six x, oh my, x <laughs> minus negative one becomes a plus, and that's it. Those are my answers. For homework, you're going to do activity two on lesson 30. I don't have the student book here, I have the teacher book, and my book pages are not the same numbers as yours, so just find activity two on lesson 30. There's four problems. But remember, on all four, you're going to find the equation of both lines. But remember, 
while the book says to write it in standard form, you're going to write it in point slope form.